about a game-changing concealer routine that works on almost everybody's mature, wrinkled, under eyes, crepey, dry, all those things. Let's get into this routine right now so that you can see how I do my concealer routine. No creasing, no caking, and it lasts all day, covers like a dream. Let's do this right now. Okay, so in a second you're going to see what I look like without any. I have very deep dark circles. I also have very deep laugh lines and creases and wrinkles under there. I am, you know, I'm really, really struggling with all of the things that we get. And when I look down, even though this is done, you can still see that I have a bit of darkness there. That's one of the things we're gonna tackle is how to position your face so that you can go ahead and, you know, catch the light and be able to see what you really need to conceal. I want you to have realistic expectations though. I'm 52 years old. I don't have Botox and I don't have fillers. And so I realize that this is going to look crinkly during the day. There's not a lot I can do about that. But what I do is I cover those dark circles and bring a little bit of light to that area in order for it to look less like I'm sickly or like I'm the crypt keeper or that kind of thing. I also did want to say, yes, your girl cut off seven inches. I cut seven seven inches off my hair. I absolutely love it. I was losing so much hair and my hair was starting to grow back in and it was all straggly. Got my hair cut. Absolutely love it. Love, love, love it. So let's get into this concealer routine so you can see exactly what I do right now. So for this routine, we're going to prep and prep and then prep some more. And it's really important that the very first thing you do is use a lot of moisturizer under your eyes. If you are like me and you have deep wrinkles under there, laugh lines, that kind of thing, you have to use a good moisturizer and it has to really sink in. So what I will do is I will do my skincare, put this on. This is the Suko Yakasuhara Urea eye cream. I love this stuff. I love the texture of it. I love how hydrating it is. There is nothing like it. I have super, super dry skin underneath my eyes to the point where it's crinkly. And so you definitely have to have something like this. This I get on Amazon and it is just, I've touted it for probably three or four years now. It's phenomenal. So I put a coat of this on, let it set for a few minutes, and then I go back in with a little bit more and I put it on again. So that is really important to me that I take that step and do that. This is the Catrice Under Eye Primer. This has a little bit of dimethicone in it, hyaluronic acid. It just has some really good stuff in it and I'm just gonna put one dot under each one. Again, we are super hydrating and what this is gonna do is it's just gonna help plump everything up, fill in the lines a little bit. Now at this point, if I were you, I would go and just leave this for a few minutes, let that all sink in. And then after you have let it all sink in, then I want you to take one ply of a tissue and I want you to just blot all over your face because you don't wanna to get too thick to start with because then you're gonna get cakey. So you just wanna really dab in there. I make sure I go around my nose. This is kind of the whole thing. It's not just concealer that I do, but at least that gets you started and you know what you're doing there. Okay, now we're gonna go on to color corrector. My favorite color corrector of the moment is Pixi by Petra. This is their brightening peach and I color correct everything. This is such an important part for me besides the primer, besides the moisturizer. This is such an important step for me and I do this because I have horrible dark circles. I mean instantly look how much that brightened up. It's just awesome. So it really is important for me to start with this and to really pay attention to this area. I make sure I take it clear out here on the edge, and then I make sure that I take it just a little bit up here into that cavern up there where we get so much darkness, almost to the eyebrow. It just helps to blend everything out so much. And then I also color correct all around my face. If you're interested in my foundation tutorial where I do all of this, I will link that for you below, um, kind of a new foundation trick that I found that I've been doing from Wayne Goss and it's phenomenal. I just love it. So I'll make sure that I link that for you. So normally I do my foundation before concealer, but because concealer is the main focus of this, I want you to see it before foundation because foundation can come up and cover a lot, but I want you to see 
everything that it's covering. I also, um, off camera, I put on my eye primer and I put a little um, bone color eyeliner in the waterline so it kind of brightens everything up as well. Those are two big things that are really going to help you achieve a really bright concealer look as well if everything is brightened up in that area. The concealer that I chose is from e.l.f. It's the Hydrating Camo Concealer. I love this. It has like a satin finish underneath the eyes. It covers really well, so you don't need a lot of it, and it sets down really nicely as well. Mine is in light peach, if you're interested. The doe foot applicator is quite big, so what I want you to do is I want you to be really careful about how much you put on. Actually, if you're having problems with that, you might just wanna just put a dot on your finger like so, and then you can put it in between your fingers, kind of warm it up a little bit, and then go in and do it that way. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dot out here, and then I'm gonna dot in here, and then I'm gonna connect the two, and just kind of start moving that around and kind of just pouncing it, bouncing your finger around, stippling your finger around, and then I'm gonna do the same on this side, and then I'm gonna connect the two. Now, most people will say only go into this part that's dark. I have darkness from here to here. So I have to go in and I have to do the whole thing. You go in with that tiny coat to begin with, and if you need a second one, you'll be better off instead of putting one really thick coat on in the beginning. All right, at this point it looks really good, but watch when I look down. Can you see how dark that looks? So make sure when you're doing your concealer, you're looking down. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit more of that concealer. And as I look down, I'm going to strategically place that where it looks dark when I'm looking down. And then once I have that second coat on, I'm not gonna blend that completely out yet. So I'm just putting the second coat on, lightly tapping and let it sit there. Because what we're going to do is we're going to go back in in a few minutes and we're going to blend it out. But what's going to happen in those couple of minutes is it's going to kind of start to self set, which is really important because when you're tapping with your finger in the beginning, you can really take away a lot of the product. And even though you want to blend, you want it to soak into your skin in order for it to cover the way that you might need to, if you have super dark circles from hell like I do, then you definitely have to have that set down just a tiny bit. So I'm gonna go do my foundation. Um, Today I'm actually trying out Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. It's a, supposed to be a dupe for the It Cosmetics. We shall see. So I'm gonna try that on and I will be back after I do my foundation. Okay, after I blend out my foundation, that takes a couple minutes and that is sufficiently starting to set on these under eyes. And I'm just going to tap this out with my finger to make it look seamless. You will find that once that sets down for that long, that it's not as hard to blend out and you're gonna get a really smooth, even application. And then the very last thing, I want you to take a beauty blender, wring it out a ton, put it in a towel, and then put it in a tissue. And I mean, I want this beauty blender almost to be completely dry. And I go over my whole entire face. I go over my foundation, and I go over my concealer with this. Now, I'm not gonna do a ton. I'm just gonna press it to try and lift up excess. So I'm not blending, I'm just lifting up excess. So on my eyes, you can see right there, the little bit I got, and then I will go over the rest of my face with the sponge as well to pick up extra so that there's no creasing anywhere. Once that's done, there's no powder involved whatsoever. I really have loved the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Setting Spray, but I also like this Essence um, Hello Good Stuff. Neither of these has alcohol in them, and this is how we're going to set our under eyes. I like this one from Charlotte Tilbury a little bit. It does have a little bit of a, more of a blurring effect, but if you can't afford that, I totally get it. And this one is just as good for setting. So what's nice about doing it this way as well well, setting it with spray instead of powder, no cakiness, none of that really dry look underneath your eyes. So the technique is using a brush. I use a pretty good size fluffy blending brush and I spray the, the setting spray right onto the brush. And I'm gonna start in this middle part of my face because I don't want that immediately to go onto my under eyes because it's a little bit too much 
when you first put it on the brush, but the rest of your face can handle it. So I go right over the eye and I just set everything in. And I will just tap it until the brush starts to feel like it's getting dry. And that is how I set everything. Now, if you're someone that likes a little bit of powder underneath your eyes, you can go ahead and do that. I don't. That is it. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so there's the finished look. The concealer is completely done. I wanna look down like this. Now you can still see I have a bit of darkness there. It is really an awesome routine for covering though that I think that anybody can utilize, especially if you're older. And it's so great because you don't have that really crepey look. When I smile, you can tell that I have a lot of lines. They're not going away. You have to be realistic like I said, but I really do love this routine. I'm gonna turn my lights way down so that you can see um, what it is a little bit better. They're on a little bit, but nothing like they were. And I'm gonna get super close so you guys can see everything. And again, you can see those laugh lines, they're still there, but it's not gonna crease during the day. And that's really what I love about it. So I do hope everybody is doing well. And I do hope that you enjoyed seeing this routine on how I do my concealer on my 52 year old eyes and how it just lasts me all day long and I don't have any problems with it. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please give this video a thumbs up on your way out of here. Everyone stay happy stay healthy, stay hydrated, and I will catch you all in my very next video. Love you. Bye-bye.